Right, today I'm going to attempt to install this gimbal, the Chinese something brand gimbal, onto my FC40 quadcopter. This is what came in the box, the actual gimbal. I already put the GoPro on there just for fun. See how that goes. And then they give you a package of wires and screws. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Some great instructions. So my first thing I'm going to do is remove the FC40 camera and install the mounting plate to the copter. The gimbal came with a bunch of hardware here. I assume that they provide that so you can install the top mounting plate. Uh, maybe some offsets there. Um, I didn't use them. Didn't look like I needed them. We'll see when this is all done. Alright, so I just took off the FC40 camera. That was the little mount. I had two screws. I basically just used those same screws and put on the new mount in the same exact holes. I set it all the way back so that the door can still open. Which it looks like it can. So now I'm going to open the quadcopter by removing the uh, three bolts here and the one screw here. Alright, so I got all the bolts out or the little nuts out, or excuse me, little screws out uh, of the quadcopter. I've never opened a quadcopter, this quadcopter, or anything, so I'm kind of doing it with you here. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Well, first thing I'm going to do is reference this video that uh, I'm going by. I'll put a link to it at the bottom. But they say you can run power the gimbal with this wire right here that's connected there underneath the silicone. One of the videos I saw said to solder it to here. I've soldered motorcycle harnesses, but never anything on a circuit board, computer board. So I'm scared to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is strip these wires here and put it, power it up and test, put a test light and see if that's giving me power. Okay, so I powered up the copter and I stripped off about that much of the insulation from the wiring and I'm going to attempt to record me doing this testing these wires for power all right as you can see it's lighting up and exploding all right, I installed the gimbal onto the mounting plate by using an Allen wrench and just kind of pushing the uh, rubber grommets through the holes. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but once you get one, you kind of figure it out. Just go around the cop or around the base plate and lock them all in. All right, now we got to figure out how to run power up into the copter. All right, after starting a small house fire, I uh, pulled all the silicone off of these. This is where those two wires were coming off. Clipped the wires there. And then I took the wires that came with the uh, device and ran them up through the leg like that. And now I'm going to take these over, solder here, hopefully not start another fire. And that way I'll be able to make the connection for power right there. Alright, so I pulled the wires that came with the gimbal through the little rubber grommet. Ran it up. Not much of a solderer. So I soldered uh, the connections there and then I covered it 
with some silicone to hopefully keep them there and to uh, insulate it.